So I and J here, right? We had talked about it back down at seven bucks, said it was a good buy, popped off here to $40. Not a bad move at all. Uh, it's chopped sideways since then. It's been holding up above $31 pretty well because <laughs> that's where the whales, whales want to keep it at all time highs. If it did drop down, right? If Bitcoin were to drop down, if Bitcoin were to have a weekly close below $67,000 and then below $63,000, um, the following week after that, you could see INJ come back down and test all time highs, previous all time highs at like 20 bucks. But that's kind of like the best you're going to get, right? If you get down here at like 28 or something, I could see it like wicking down there, but you're not going to get it probably much more lower unless the market really just drops overall. So um, good to watch where the market's going. If you wanted more INJ at this point, this is kind of like your last call on INJ because if you're buying here, right? And then it goes to a new all-time high back above $50. You pretty much don't want to buy anywhere above $50, right? So if you get it under 30, fantastic. If you get it between 30 to 40, good. Don't buy above 50. Let the, let the price run because there's other projects out there.